major pressure, huh? Most of the time, the Liberian artists are the ones who end up Rock seeing the, the show. show. Yes. Mostly because of the passion. The passion. People love what they do. Yeah. So, I mean, if I can get something to do what I enjoy doing. Right. Yeah, but if we are talking about compensation as musicians <laughs> should have. That's no, not it. No. It's not working. What's up, what's up, what's up? Your morning, your hello, your sleeping, your bella wake up, your you know, dinner break. <laughs> Welcome back to Delicia Life and Travel. Welcome back to Delicia TV, all things Liberian. So today we are here with one of Liberia's best flute player. And I know about you. I only know about myself. I don't want to crown him and give him that title already. I gave him that title. Hmm? Anyway, so I got to know this young man a couple of years back before I traveled out of Liberia. And my first interaction with him, I had a song out. That time y'all know I was singing uh, Perfect Stranger. I had a song out and he's a videographer also. And he's a musician, like he does a whole lot of things. So when he heard the song, he wanted to do the video for the song. And I remember it was somewhere right back here. We started doing that video also. <laughs> Though it never came out. <laughs> but yeah, so I knew him way back then. And he was playing with a band called Vibes. They used to play at Bolivar Palace and Palm Spring. I don't even know if these places are still operating. So when I came back and I saw him, I was like, do you still play the flute? And he said, yes. And I, I bumped into him at D Calabash the other day. He and his band were there playing. So I told him he owes me an interview. So here we are today. Welcome to Delicia TV. Thank you and welcome back to Liberia. Thank you. Feels so good to be back home. Well, I'm Richard A. Henry the fourth. The fourth. That means to say they get first, second, third, fourth. He the fourth. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'm a musician and also a videographer oh. into the entertainment business not just music but also entertainment as large as a whole. At, at large okay because I'm, i also do some stand-up comedy Ooh, why uh, you haven't invited me yet you, you haven't been here <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm here now. I'm here now. I know your stuff, how you can do. Like this man, without even trying to do it so hard, this man makes you to laugh all of the time. So imagine his stand-up comedy. Please invite me for the next one. I don't want to hear a story. I beg you, please invite me. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So where do you have the stand-up comedy, though, before we go ahead? Well, for now, it's when people invite me to become MC at programs or oh, okay. when there is a comedy show and they call on me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so basically that's who I am. A musician, okay. a comedian, a videographer. Okay. Uh, so I've starred in a couple of movies. Okay. Did you get that? Uh, he starred in a couple of movies. The so most you are also awesome. The most popular is Seattle Will Kill Me. Seattle Will Kill Me. Oh, yes. I remember I saw that movie. Hey, if you not see Seattle Will Kill Me here, yeah. it's with KKL Production. Knock Knock Liberia. KKL Knock Knock Liberia. You can check on YouTube. I saw this man. I was in China at the time. I was watching the movie. And I, was it China or Cambodia? Anyway, one of those places. And I saw the movie. I was like, what? Look at Richie. I know that man. <laughs> oh, yeah, that movie is beautiful. You want to watch it? Yeah, okay. so basically that's it. Okay. So how has it been like as an entertainer? How, how has it been like in Liberia as a whole? Since 2010 till present. Well, it's been a rocky road. Mm. But I can say with the art itself, the entertainers themselves have improved a lot. Okay. And 
the only challenges we have now is with support. 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 Because if you have listened to Liberian music in the past mm -hmm. or watched Liberian movies in the past compared to what we, are, we have coming up now, you know that there's been a, a vast improvement. Yeah, in yeah. The yeah. entertainment industry, the, 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 the artists themselves mm -hmm. trying to beef up their game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, talking about that, because when we were doing music back then, like the support, you know, I know you talk about the support, right? But the support that they are getting right now, I think is like... 60 percent now as compared to back then back then we had like only 10 percent so kind of small no matter what they were giving up we never even had people then supporting us like that they were not even believing in the things we were doing they kept saying that on serious people were doing those kind of things once you are into the arts you know entertainment they don't even see you as anything like you less basic person so seeing the amount of support that's been given right now i'm really impressed but i really wish we could do a lot more oh yeah i mean like people will bring in international artists uh -huh. and they will pay them insane amount of money hmm. and when they invite liberian artists to that same show mm -hmm. they want to pay them peanuts hmm. which hmm. is not even fair and and most of the time the liberian artists are the ones who end up Rock seeing the, the show. show yeah they can kill the show yeah. Ah, this thing, I thought by now we would have graduated from that, you know, we would have graduated from that particular way of doing things. Because there were times that some of us even performed on shows for free, only because we had passion and we got the talent. We just want to showcase ourselves. Yeah. So we're basically like, you know, begging these promoters, these organizers just to be on their shows. But I already thought that everything would have changed by now if they're still giving artists peanuts and giving foreign artists, you know, like those big money or whatever, how to say it, man. They need to improve on that right now. The artists themselves need to add values to themselves. If you don't pay me right, I'm coming to your show now. Yeah. But hey, they can't but be like At the same you. time, mm. you need to eat. I see. <laughs> I thought it this time I catch myself too. <laughs> man yeah so how i mean the whole band thing how is it like like the people you people were playing back then are you people still are you people still together is the whole team still together well the team you left back then is not the same team now because a lot of the members have traveled okay but there are still some of the old guys on board and we are recruited some new ones new ones who are even good mm, better than the even, ones before yeah we can even say they are okay yeah because <laughs> like i said the young artists coming up mm -hmm. are actually trying to improve, their game. improve the game yeah 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 I mean, you can't keep doing the same thing over and over, man, because when you look around you, you look at the other countries that are around us, you see how far they are gone. You see how much work they put into their, you know, their craft. So we can't keep doing the same thing. We have to improve and get out there. When you're old people, then who you are working with, you won't buy an army, you not inside a rich talk you. No, well, even they themselves know. I mean, okay. a, a, a few of, of them have come down, they have seen the band mm -hmm. now, and they, they know that a few new artists we, we brought on board okay. are very good. Okay. Yeah. So, like, I mean, what are the instruments that are played within the band? Y'all have guitarists, the drummer, flutes. What else? Yeah, we, we have a small team of instrumentalists. Okay. Basically, I'm on flute. Uh -huh. We have a keyboardist okay. and a guitarist. Yeah. Okay. Then the we have two singer. keyboardists and a guitarist. Okay. Then we have the singer. Singers here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It's not like a big band, but huh. it's a small, compact. But they can do the work. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's good. Even out there, sometimes you see a band like just like you said, the drummer, keyboardist, the lead singer. And maybe one more singer, you know, they just kind of blend and do their thing. And it's great, yeah. 
out there they have like two different kind of entertainers maybe they have the band and maybe they have individual they have individual artists you know coming to perform that are not using the band but basically they they're you know coming with their own maybe set yeah that they will give to the dj for the dj to play for them yeah, yeah so and how is the payment like for these gigs okay wait first of all is it like you people are booked on a monthly basis to be performing over there like it's a six month contract or it's just on gigs level they i don't well, know for now it's just on gig level hmm. and i can also tell you people in the music industry mm -hmm. entertainment industry in liberia as a whole mm -hmm. It's mostly because of the passion. The passion. People love what they do. Yeah. So, I mean, if I can get something to do what I enjoy doing. Right. Yeah, but if we are talking about compensation, as musicians should have. <sighs> That's no, not it. No. It's not working. And we need to graduate from that stage now. Look, entertainment is a big business out there. Entertainment, you have a whole lot of people wrapped around, you know, the whole entertainment thing. You have the singer, you have dancers, you have manager, you have sta uh, stage manager, you have choreographer. Like, it's a big thing. You have yeah. the security and so many people can get fed from just one person as an entertainer. Yeah. But Liberia, look, we just overlook the arts and craft in this country. We don't even pay it any mind. And this is something that can even boost the economy, bring, you know, shine light on the country. But I don't know why it's just the opposite with us in this country. I really don't understand. Okay, not to take up much of your time. Can we hear you play something for us? Oh, yeah. No problem. He's ready. Ever ready, Bache? Hey, you remember that, Bache? <laughs> Give me the name. Me, I know the name. I will not say it. But y'all tell me what song was that in the comment section below. Thank you very much. That was great. Thank you. <laughs> that was really nice. You got another piece for us? Because you know my Uba, I want more. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was really great. Thank you so much. It was good having you on here. And we all just pray that everything, you know, things can improve in this country especially for entertainers because if you cannot reap from what you know you are doing there it's just a waste of time yeah. we'll just be getting old in this thing here because we have the passion for it but that's not how it's supposed to be yeah i mean i look to see the day where musicians or artists me entertainers mm -hmm. will be at the level of yeah, international counterparts mm -hmm. where we can rub shoulder like, like look 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 at Nigeria, look at Ghana, look at South Africa and other African countries. Those people are now rubbing shoulders with the Jay Z, yeah. the Beyonce. Yeah. yeah. But look at Ghana. Year of return. You see all of these big artists are coming to Ghana. The year in. It's so it's something that's boost boosting the economy. I mean 
it's just so unbelievable. Like, what is happening in Liberia? Oh, you see, entertainment throws light on the country. It makes people to, to, to want to come and visit. Right. And there was one time we were at Palm Springs. Uh -huh. and there were some white uh, folks who, who, who were there sitting. I think they, were, they were about to leave that, that night. Mm -hmm. And they were like saying, oh, me. They came to Liberia and they, they go to places and, and to find out where they, where they can buy Liberian music. Imagine your own country music. They couldn't find. Wow. Yeah. We really got to improve, give this entertainment team a lot of respect, y'all. We really need to do that. The government needs to try, oh. <laughs> do you know they're really sitting on this thing, they're overlooking it, but if only they knew. If only they knew. Oh, yeah. Huh, so like um vibes? The vibes. Yo, yo, yeah. yeah, the vibes band. Vibe or vibes? Vibes. Vibes band. Where do you guys play now? For now we play at D Calabash. Okay, D Calabash. On Saturdays. On Saturdays. Yeah. Okay. What time? At nine. Nine. PM. Okay. So if you are out there and you want to hear the vibes band play, just go to D Calabash. D Calabash is a Liberian owned business also. It's a very beautiful place, but we'll get to that other one another time. Okay, so thank you for being a part of Delicia Life and Travel and Delicia TV. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Welcome back to Liberia again. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> you.